Goal Today. Welcome back to Black and Gold Today. It's time for us to turn the show over to you, the fans, with our fans' weekly sound off segment. Absolutely, and this week we are talking all about trying to have some momentum going into the bye week. Also, a big AFC North tilt with the Baltimore Ravens. We covered a lot of ground here in our fan sound off segment. Let's see what you, the fans, had to say. Do you think that that's the biggest rival for the Steelers, Baltimore, and, and wh why or why not? Yeah. I think so. They're Tell us division. why. Because they are not division and they've always been a tough opponent. Plus, plus it goes back from when they were in Cleveland. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're going to start stacking wins, go in, we're going to beat the Edgar Allan Poles, the Ratbirds, Baltimore Ravens, and then uh, we're going to win the AFC North. We're going to win the division. The Ravens are Ravens are perennial powerhouses, but we got their number. We got their number this year. If our defense is healthy and the offense is ticking, we're ready to go. Now time for our fans of the week. Remember, if you'd like to be our fan of the week or nominate someone, check out our Facebook page and hit black and gold today. For this week, we're looking at you, Rich Stedman, Gregory Bellion from Colorado Springs, Colorado. For Rich, it was his first game for his grandson as well. A truly special one at that. Let's hear what they had to say about it. We're just amazed the Steeler Nation's represented here today. I'm bringing in my, bringing up my uh, my grandson Gregory Paul's first Steeler game. Got to break him in right here. Nice. Got to get us a W. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> I'll live for this. I'll live for this. He's my man. He's my son. Ray's right. Ray's right. I want to win. Want to win? win? Yeah. Got to have a win. Got to have a win. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Absolutely. When it comes to tailgating, Steeler Nation turns out, as you see, wherever the black and gold goes. That's all right. Black and gold today, Ken Urbanski caught up with the Steel Pride tailgate, whose name reflective of the love they have for the team and the fans that support them. <laughs> The organization is called Steel Pride Family. Uh, we started as original as a, as a fan club. Our main goal is to do events like this where it's a family friendly, uh, family friendly environment. Uh, you can bring your kids, you can bring your wife, have a good time at the tailgate. You know, you have food, you got drinks, you get to meet new people from all, all over the state. Pretty much started in uh, 2017. A group of us just got together and we just shared our love and passion for the for the Steelers, really, to be honest with you. And it's we just grown ever since then. We started, like I said, with eight guys, and now we've uh, we're nationwide. We're eight chapters. We're in, uh, we're in four, four different states. We're in the state of uh, Texas. We're in uh, California. Uh, we're in uh, Pennsylvania. We're working on Mexico. Uh, we're doing uh, Nevada also. We're in Nevada. So we just kind of branched out. It's, it's, it's good to see everybody join in, 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 a, in a main cause. And it's more of a family friendly type thing. And we're growing and we're still not done growing. We're hopefully, you know, we try to take over every stadium. We have love and passion for NFL. So that's really where it starts. So we welcome anyone, any fan base, anyone that just, you want to have a cool time and want to have a good family type of environment that's what we're all about we appreciate those guys and a great piece once again from our Kent Urbanski it's time for one of our favorite parts of the show it's all about what Jess has cooking in the kitchen yeah Mike just always has something great for the fans it's time to see what she has in store for us for the week four matchup against the Ravens it's time for a taste of a, something great for game day Hey Steelers fans, we have the Ravens today, so I have a great dip that'll keep you full and energized throughout this game. It's a layered Greek dip. While there are a lot of ingredients to this one, it's very easy to assemble. We're gonna start by layering cream cheese and then add red pepper, cucumbers, tomato, catamal olives, feta, and we'll season it with some Italian seasoning and garlic. We're gonna start by spreading the cream cheese on a plate. You can use any type of dish you want. I like these rectangle dishes. I set it out in the morning just to soften it so that when we put it on the plate, it'll smooth out for this layered dip. So that's our first step, is just to make sure that this is all laid out. It doesn't have to be super pretty because we're gonna put everything else on top of it, and that's where the magic happens. So now that we have that down, we're gonna go ahead and season it with just a sprinkle of garlic powder and then Italian seasoning, which is a combo of a lot of seasoning, so it's easy. Put that right on top. 
And next we're just going to assemble and layer our item. So we're going to start with some diced red bell pepper. That'll add a nice sweetness to this dip. Anything Greek you want to have some cucumbers. They're very fresh, crisp. They're very good on these crackers that we're going to serve it with. Katamawa olives are very tangy if you're not familiar with them. They're usually served in Greek dishes as well. Super good on the palate. A little bit of um, salty to go with that sweetness from the red pepper. Top with some tomato and then feta goes over top. Some of it has some chunks, some of it's diced up a little bit in here, but it'll make for a really beautiful and really, really savory dip. I like to serve this with multi-grain club crackers. You can also serve it with chips. I served this at a family party and my mom loved it. And I think your family will too. Go Steelers. The innovation, the creativity, that's a good game day dip right there, Ashley. I was going to say, dip is probably my favorite thing to use for game day because y you can just keep munching, keep munching, keep munching, so that would be a good one. And of course, it has like a different flavor profile than like buffalo chicken dip, which I feel like a lot of people typically do. Yeah, I think she's all over it. Jess has you covered each and every week, and we appreciate that so much. We're